Okay guys, outfit of the day number one for all the outfits, so just that you know, it will be my sunglasses because I mean, ugh, why not? And my Apple Watch. But anyway, let's hop into the outfit. Today, for first outfit of the day, I'm wearing, I'm wearing a black t-shirt, a black pair of jeans and white sneakers. I know, it's classy, it's stylish, and you've never seen it like that before, didn't you? Awesome. But now, number two. Okay, I mean like, wow, what the hell is even that? Second outfit, second outfit of the day. This time I'm combining a black pair of jeans with a black t-shirt. I know, wow, so stunning, so incredible, I know. But anyway, this is my outfit, white sneakers, of course white sneakers, because they are so classy. <gasps> And let's hop right into number three. I know, right? I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just, wow, so awesome. This time I'm combining, for, for the third outfit of the day, I'm combining a black t-shirt with a black pair of jeans and white sneakers. Incredible, right? Absolutely incredible. I mean, like, woo. Just oh, so classy, so stylish, still simple, but adventurous. I'm out. Just before we start the video, little side note. Do you remember my framed quote from Oscar Wilde up there? Yeah, um, that frame came down in the middle of the night for no obvious reasons, and I haven't, I couldn't be bothered to put it back up. So um, yeah, just let you know. I used to be one of those who would spend hundreds of money on expensive brand name clothing and the only reason was I wanted to feel better. I wanted to have more self-esteem, more self-love, more self-respect and I thought that purchasing all this and getting valued for it by other people basically was conspicuous consumption all the way through. Since I started with minimalism however, that changed. I do have 10 of these black shirts from Asket. No advertisement. Also got one of those in white when I feel adventurous. I've got this classic white shirt for official occasions. Two hoodies in two colors. I've got one sweater in black. I've got this beautiful blue bomber jacket that I like. I do have a black leather jacket. Classy. A winter coat, which is quite lovely and warm. Five of these sweat short pants. 15 different colored pairs of underwear, 10 long socks, 5 short socks, I do have my black pair of jeans that I wear every day, I've got two of these quite regular sweatpants, this classy trouser for official occasions, one pair of red swimwear, my usual white sneakers for every day and my walkout sneakers and for accessories I do have three ties, don't know why, don't have a suit, and one scarf, and of course, you know that, my sunglasses. And yes, I do wear the same outfit every day. Black shirt, black jeans, white sneakers. Or, if it's too hot outside, I swap the jeans for one of my shorts. I still own a few expensive pieces of clothing from expensive brand names, but almost all of them were purchased months or maybe even years before I discovered minimalism all together. And as they are still good to use, why should I replace them? I am a bit splitted when it comes to brand names like Lacoste, Tommy Hilfiger and Co. The shirts I have now, 35 bucks each, not cheap, almost the same price as some brand name shirts, but so much better in quality. Some of those shirts I have had for two years, some others for six to seven months, and you can't tell them apart. A few years back, all of my t-shirts were from Tommy Hilfiger or Lacoste or something like that. Always expensive and always with a small or bigger logo on the front. And after washing them for a few times, almost all of them started to look like shit and needed to be replaced. And this is an experience that I had very often with clothing from brands that are expensive. One of the worst experience I ever had was with this polar shirt. Cost me 130 bucks, but the color was so nice. The fabric was so nice and lovely to the touch. Ooh, 
I love that shirt, but I kid you not, after I washed it twice exactly the way Lacoste wanted me to do it, because it sat so on the label, it shrinked so much in size, I couldn't wear it no matter what I tried. And yes, even losing weight didn't do the trick. I do still wear sneakers from Lacoste. I do have very wide feet, so I don't fit most sneakers out there. This pair does fit me and keeps me going for one year or one and a half, so I stick with that for now. As soon as I need to replace them again, I will look out for something else without a logo on it. Nowadays, clothing isn't important anymore to me. I like to dress up, and I definitely can, but I rarely need to. So it doesn't make much sense for me to have thousands of different kind of pieces in my closet. And the biggest benefit for me with a minimalistic wardrobe is time and trouble saving. In the past, it took me so long to decide on what I want to wear. I found myself often in a situation of standing in front of my closet being like, oh, I want to wear that shirt, but the trouble that fits it best is dirty, so let's go for that shirt. Oh, I forgot to wash that shirt, so what am I going to do now? And now all of this is a thing of the past. In the morning, after I hopped out of the shop, <coughs> dumbass. I just put on my black t-shirt, my black pair of jeans and white sneakers, and I'm good to go for whatever the day brings. And if you are like I was a few years ago, always thinking and worrying about if you look good and what random people on the street think about how you dress, let me tell you this. Nobody cares because they are way too busy thinking about how they look themselves and are way too worried about what you think about them wearing whatever they are wearing. So, um, yeah, honestly, nobody cares. There you have it guys, this is my super sexy minimalistic wardrobe. I hope you liked this video, comment and subscribe if you did so, so you don't miss out on any kind of fashion videos anymore. What about you? Are you... <clears throat> Honestly, how about you? Suckle for brand names or does it just need to be cheap and cover your sexy body parts? Let me know down below in the comments section and I'll see you around next week. Bye. Later, bitches! So